Hi, this is Lori. And I'm Peter. And we're with Heroes Character Rental Service doing another movie review, this time The Girl in the Spider's Web. In the Spider's Web, Okay. Yes. So we want to see this. <laughs> This is going to be a short review, probably, mm -hmm. unfortunately or thankfully. That's up to you to decide. But we want to see this Saturday night uh, after a long week, and we went to the late show. And I have to admit, I dozed off a yeah. little on this movie. I think I dozed off three times. Yeah, I did, too. So I would... I probably don't have a whole lot to say about it. I know it's in along the lines of The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, and unfortunately I hadn't been read the book or have seen the other movies related to the series. I remember how immensely popular that book was when it came out, and it was an intense kind of a action thriller, mystery, detective kind of novel, but it's uh, the character Elizabeth Salander, who's a hacker and vigilante type. Mm -hmm. And uh, that continuing here, except this time she's played by actress Claire Foy. Mm -hmm. So, do you have any? Yeah. Well, one. Yeah, we 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 both went late. Yeah. And we both, I guess, fell asleep at different little different parts various of the movie. times. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, I I it wasn't the movie's fault. It was my fault because I was very tired. Yeah. Um, and um, so I even fell asleep. I think just for a few seconds during an, during an action scene, dur during one of the chase scenes. Okay. So mm -hmm. I know it wasn't the movie's fault. It was my fault. But um, Clara Foy, I think she did a fantastic job. Yeah, she was pretty great in this. Yeah. I mean, she's pretty great anyway. Um, I've seen her before in The Crown on Netflix. Watched, I've watched a few of those episodes, and it's a completely different uh, type of character, uh, you know, style-wise, just character, personality, everything. Of course, the Queen of England, then you have this hacker, mm -hmm. just hardcore, <laughs> just yeah. tough, tough as nails, smart as, as a whip, and vigilante hacker. Of course, mm -hmm. it's going to be completely different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, now, I went into the movie mm -hmm. thinking that she was going to be a vigilante um uh, more on the lines of for women's rights. Oh, okay. So that's well, you that you bring up a good point on that because you, you want to continue. I don't want to interrupt no, no, you no, no. because like the previews for this, and we've mm -hmm. seen them going to the movie so much. They were playing quite a bit. Mm -hmm. This the scenes in the previews pretty much are all at one time in the beginning of the movie, and it's not what the movie's about at all. Right. Right. You know, right. it's just kind of like setting up her character. And what she does, and or reintroducing her character, and what she does, and how badass she is, basically. Right. And now, so far as the movie goes, the movie that I did see, I did really like it. I thought her character was very good, and she was very diverse on mm -hmm. what she would do. And evidently, from what I could see from the movie, uh, people call her and say, um, here's what we have here's what we need you to do, or here's what we have, meet this person. Mm -hmm. And uh, so she would, uh, uh, like you said, she's a vigilante, and she, and she goes along different lines, and I'm, I'm assuming she gets paid. Yeah, and, I'm thinking they hire her to right wrongs. Right, you know. to, write, to right wrongs. That, that's, yeah. that's a mm -hmm. very, very good way to look at it. They hire her to right wrongs, and... She's very good at it, but then she has her own set of issues or yeah, problems. Yeah, and I think this is her 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 uh, past coming back to haunt her. Right. Um. So the um. She has a sister. There's backstories. She has a sister that she sort of she she leaves home at a very young age, and the sister stays with what they indicate is probably their father was very abusive and, and molesting very, them yeah pr yeah pretty much and yeah. so the sister has that to form her character as she's grown up and right. they come face to face mm -hmm. um and it's well how will she deal with the guilt of abandoning her sister mm -hmm. and how her sister turned out to be and so um, the only thing, you know, the sister character was cool, but at the same time, they do that kind of albino villain thing with her. Al <laughs> so, alb albino yeah, blonde which is hair. Kind of the, yeah, the, the super platinum blonde hair, the kind of pasty white looking mm -hmm. skin. And 
that we've seen that type of badass villain portrayed a lot. So that was a little cliche, but the actress right. I thought was very good and effective who played the villain mm-hmm. in this. And the storyline was interesting. The one thing is, like I said, we fell asleep, but I was listening the whole time. So, and I was trying to stay awake and catch. I was like, wait, you know, trying to stay as engaged with this film as I could because it, it seemed interesting to me mm. um, what was going on. Yeah. But, well, I thought the movie. I thought the movie was interesting. There was a lot of interesting parts, um, and I thought the story was actually very compelling. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think normally, I would have, you know, watched this movie and just maybe fell in love with it. Uh-huh. But um, <laughs> not now, Mom. Ah, uh, we're in the middle of something. Ah, uh, yes. A flight path studio strikes again. <laughs> so, um, but um, I, th- but I, I, think the movie, I think the movie was very good, very compelling. Mm-hmm. Um, we've both seen that it's not doing very well. No, it's not doing very well. The box office, it's it yeah. kind of tanked. Yeah. And, you know, I don't know. I'm going to have to give it another look to see. Right. You know, right. am I, was I missing anything or was it falling asleep was because it didn't engage me enough. So I, I don't want to give a review, um, a recommendation whether to go see this or right. not. I guess if you're a fan of the books, you might want to right. try it out. But but of course, it, it is coming out or it did come out mm-hmm. the same time as The Grinch. Yeah, and, and people are, it's, we're getting into the holiday season. People are going to take their kids to see The Grinch. That's, right. that's just how that right. is. <laughs> and it'll be date night some other night. Yeah. So, so um, but, that's the girl with the spider's web for me. And that's I'm, the same for me. And I got to go make my dad dinner now. So I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. We out.